Well, some things never change. I have made literally thousands of videos and sometimes I still forget to hit record on the microphone. So here we are. Anyway, welcome back everybody. A few weeks ago, I told you that I had a backlog of videos that are no longer on YouTube. They're from the very beginning of the EDC Weekly, which is what sparked this channel, but that started before all of this. So those are no longer on YouTube, but I have them. And I asked you guys a while back if you wanted me to re-upload them as a From the Vault series. You guys overwhelmingly responded with yes. Some of you said no. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but uh, I have them and I'm going to be uploading them somewhat regularly and not too frequently. Uh, but this is episode one. I, I watched it just a few minutes ago and wow, Wow, many things have changed. For instance, in this video, I talk about how I can't see myself owning knives over $50 and how knives two, three, four hundred dollars are just kind of crazy and it just doesn't make sense to me. And I was more of a $50 knife guy because I could just buy a new knife if I broke that one. Still haven't ever broken a knife. Uh, but I also said something about replacing a Leatherman blade. I mean, I guess Leatherman would replace it if you broke it, but I don't know, weird. Uh, anyway, just looking back at that and, and looking down in my pocket today, having, you know, a $750, $850 custom knife in my pocket, yeah, things change. And, and I think that's going to be one of the more interesting parts of looking back at these old videos. Not even just what I say and what I'm carrying and things like that, but seeing how the community changed and the photos change and all the gear and everything. I think it's really going to be an interesting take to look back at these things, especially since they're not on YouTube anymore. Um, so yeah, this is episode one. I'm pretty excited for you guys to see it and yeah, laugh at my expense. It's okay. I, I am here for it. <laughs> it's, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, episode one of the EDC Weekly, the birth of this channel. And let's do the damn thing. Hey modders, last week I introduced a new series. I didn't quite have a name for it yet, so I sent out a poll and got a lot of feedback and I finally decided on a name. It is called the EDC Weekly and after tons of submissions this week, I went through, picked out the best and this is the very first EDC Weekly. So first up we have a submission from Daniel Barnard. You can find him on Instagram at dan42b and he has to have one of the most extensive everyday carries that was submitted this week. And first up is a handmade wallet. It's an elastic wallet and kind of reminds me of the slim wallets from Supergood. He also has three Leathermans, a Skeletool, a Style CS, and the C33, which is just a pocket knife, not a multi-tool. Um, he's carrying the Motorola G4 Plus, a Skywolf IE524 Cree LED flashlight, a car key with a hand cord parakeet fob. It kind of looks like the survival grenade that I made, but I. I don't know that there's anything in it. It might just be paracord, um, most likely. That's my guess. Uh, there is a homemade zipper sinnet paracord bracelet, a Bic lighter wrapped in duct tape. It's always handy to have a little duct tape on hand, and that's one of the most common ways to carry. A little extra duct tape is to wrap it around a lighter. And he also has Coke flavored lip balm, which I don't think I've ever seen before, an EDC gear key holder, which is like the key organizer I made, the original one, or a key smart, but it's from EDC gear, a Kingston 32 gig USB free flash drive, um, LG G watch, and a Maru mini 3x3x3 cube, or a speed cube, which is a tiny little pocket Rubik's cube. So it's really nice. There's a lot of variety here. I have to say the things that jump out at me the most is three multi-tools. You carry three multi-tools everywhere you go or two multi-tools and a knife everywhere you go. That's three knives. Daniel says that he is a designer and while he sits at a desk every day, he is an outdoor enthusiast. I know how it feels, man. I love all this gear and everything and I sit behind this computer every day um, and I carry all these things that I don't use all that much because I sit at a desk all day. Uh, and, and I don't need tools while I'm on the internet. He does say that he carries three Leathermans because one, the Skeletool is great for heavy duty pliers, screwing and unscrewing things. The style he uses mostly for cutting and filing fingernails and the C33 is his quick access go-to knife for 90% of his cutting needs. I get it, I understand. Uh, I couldn't personally carry three different multi-tools 
Um, that's why I went with the, the Skeletool, because it has just exactly what I need in most situations. Uh, but I have been considering upgrading to something like the Wave. I just feel like it might be a little too bulky. Anyway, thank you for sharing this. And you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. If you'd like to ask him about any of this stuff, you can find all of it linked down below, or you can talk to him directly on Instagram at Dan42B. The next EDC comes from Jesus Lang, and I have to say that I really like it. It's very simple, very minimal. And first up is the Andark hard sleeve wallet, a Fisher Space Pin Cap-O-Matic. So that's not the small one that you're typically used to seeing. It's a little larger one. Um, Streamlight MicroStream, which is a flashlight. Wrap Model 2, which is the knife. Griffin Pocket Tool, which is just a little pry bar pocket clip tool. It's also got a little hex driver on it. And then you have a Pebble smartwatch and the Nexus 6, which was used to take the picture. He just says, this is a budget EDC, so I can use the knife without any preoccupation. If I break it, I'll just buy another one. It is the result of my try to just carry the minimal but most useful everyday carry stuff. Yes, I get that. A lot of people comment on my EDC videos saying that I should invest in a really nice knife. I don't want to spend two or $300 on a Spyderco or something else and break it and then have to replace it. I would rather spend $50 on a knife that works and cuts even if I have to cut a little harder or put in a little extra effort for it to do what I need it to do. I would rather just save that money and be able to buy 10 knives. That's the logic that I use. I know a lot of people don't agree with that and would rather spend two, three, four, five hundred dollars on a knife. Uh, I'm not that guy. I like too many other things to be able to invest that much money into a knife. And also I would rather spend a hundred dollars on something like a Leatherman where I can just replace the blade if it runs, if, like if it wears out, I can just replace the blade and keep going. So. With that said, I totally understand this, and I like this. It's pretty much everything is either black or silver or gold-ish, like the flash drive and the, the Griffin key tool. Um, I will say, you didn't say anything about the skeleton key on your keychain. Maybe you don't want to, but I still think that's pretty badass. Again, anything you see here will be linked down below, and if you want to get in touch with Jesus, you can find him on Facebook. He will be linked down below as well. Hey Zeus, you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The last EDC this week comes from Jed Darlington Roberts, and if you want to follow him around the web, you can find him on Instagram at Jed underscore DR or made by Anigo. So this EDC is very themed. Most things here are made by hand, which I really, really like and I can respect. First up is one of the only things here that's not custom or handmade, and that's the iPhone 6S with the Evotech Ultra Thin Kevlar case. I like it, it's really, really nice, and it's themed with everything else here. Even though it isn't handmade, it's brown. Everything here is brown or silver, and this fits in really, really nicely. The first handmade thing is a handmade notebook cover. Uh, we'll get to more of that in a second. There's the Parker pen inside it with an analog book for taking camera notes. There's also a handmade leather card holder, which you can find on his Instagram or on his Etsy page. So you can actually also buy this, I'm assuming. There is the Clipper lighter, a custom painted Casio watch. And then there's also a handmade iPhone cable key ring with house keys and a Miller tripod bottle opener. At first, I wasn't sure why it was called a tripod bottle opener, but now that I've looked it up, I actually want one of these because it's used to tighten the screw for the bottom of a quick release tripod mount for a camera. Uh, you can actually just use that to unscrew it. I have a key tool mounted to my tripod, but this is a tool designed for that and it has a bottle opener on it. He says, a lot has been handcrafted, something I love doing. The notebook is a new addition and has proven to be a brilliant addition as I'm eventually able to jot down ideas. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful EDC. I. I like it a lot. So the pictures you sent in with this were, were fantastic. Um, really high quality pictures, which helps me out. Thanks a lot for that. But also you've got uh, this card holder. I like it a lot because you've taken different scraps of leather and put them together and made this really nice little card holder. It's a lot like the one I carry, uh, but it also would keep cards and, and money or whatever you put in your card holder from falling out of the top. That's one of the problems I have with mine because it's the one I made, I still carry this thing and if you turn it upside down, stuff will just fall out of it. So that's a problem, uh, this fixes that. Very, very cool. I might work on that idea and remake mine. So yeah, that's the very first episode of the EDC Weekly and Boy, how things have changed. The photos, the quality of the gear, the quality of the photos, how people carry things. Everything has changed over a few years. And 
And, and I think EDC itself has just evolved a ton. The community is massive. It's full of very interesting people with all different sorts of taste and budget levels and everything. So looking back at this, this was like my scope of EDC back then. And man, it's really changed a whole lot. And I, I really like that look back. And I'm not going to go watch all of the rest of the EDC weekly videos that I have until I'm about to upload them. So it's still going to be fresh for me as well. And I'm excited to share them all with you as we go through this. It's also fun looking back and seeing what gear has persisted. So a lot of these things are no longer in rotation, but things like the Skeletool still in rotation. I still see them in photos. It's still a great piece of gear. There are flashlights and things that just persist through the years. And that shows you that these things are really quality. They're, they're worth their weight. They're worth the pocket space and your money. And, and I think that's the value here is looking back years ago and seeing what people were carrying, comparing it to what they're carrying now. And those things are the, those are the little nuggets that make these old videos worth re-uploading. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. All of the links down below will be affiliate links if you want to check out anything you did see. Uh, all the old gear is still available. Most of it, I think, anyway. Uh, so go check that out. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc and you can support there. Or you can go to carrycommission.com to buy gear and merch directly from me. In fact, right now, today, I dropped some wallets. They're still available. The blades are gone, but there are still some slim wallets and front pocket bifolds available right now over at Carry Commission. Probably not going to last much longer, but they're available as of the recording of this. Uh, also, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at Best MEDC. But with that said, and until next time, carry on. Didn't I?